Hi everyone. This is the uh, the circuit that I'm using right now, and uh, I got this from John Carl four three four four seven. I think he was getting it from Capacitor seven zero. This circuit was used in the working model. It's using two twenty for input, then um, a six hundred volt light bulb for current limiting, fifty and bridge rectifier. 330 uh, megafarad uh, capacitor, set of diodes, spark plug, another set of diodes, and uh, this in the highlighted area is basically a car ignition um, coil setup for one cylinder. I was try to use it with this, but um, I was only do it manually. I wasn't using pulse pickup coil and transistor and dial here. Just connecting and and uh, breaking the circuit on the primary was providing me a spark. Sometime when I connected to the circuit, instead of uh, the spark jumping the gap on the spark plug, it was jumped somewhere inside my uh, battery charger, which is I was used for power supply. So I got rid of that setup and I bought. A barbecue igniter, and I connected here, and the other side goes to ground. Uh, it also it works either way if you put it before or after these diodes. Uh, this is how it looks like. Um, this big tangled mess is um, the two. Uh, I'm using two bridge rectifier hooked up in parallel because I couldn't get a 50 amp uh, bridge rectifier, so I'm using a 40 and a 25 amp. So this is the power cord for the uh, current limiting uh, spotlight, and that is the power cord for the whole thing, the gray one goes behind this paper and comes out here and goes to the uh, power core which is supplying 220 watts. Alright, let's see the spark without... Oops, that was from the capacitor. It's not turning. Anyway. So just, this is just a spark from the igniter right now. Okay, now I'm going to... Oh, actually... Let's see what happens. I have gasoline and water in here. And I show it to you that it is gasoline by igniting this. And this is water. Okay. Let's see what happens if I put some gasoline on that spark plug and it doesn't even want to jump when it has gasoline on it. I don't even want to try water. Okay, let's turn this light on. By doing that I just turned on my circuit. Let's see. And it misfires, I think the reason because I adjusted this power gap really big. Okay, let's put some gasoline again. The gasoline, it doesn't really want to work really good. Again, it's my video because of the spark gap. Let's see, water now. Not, it's much more consistent with water than water again. Cap. 
It flew away beautifully. Let's burn the water off. Then put the gas on it. Get that. It flew just as high. Okay. I think I showed you everything I wanted to show in this video. Uh, yes, I have a little more time. I can try to show the spark through this welding glass. If I can hold the camera and the glass all together and fire it. And I'll put some water again. Well, as I can tell, water and gas makes the same amount of bang. It flews the cap in the same height, so, so it uh, should respond in the same way the internal combustion engine. This setup is good for one cylinder. I think I find out a way how to do it uh, for more than one cylinder engine. I'm going to show it to you in the next video. I do not have enough time on this one to show. Until then, have fun and be careful. This high current can kill you. Bye.